And I want to know, first of all, where my 30 year old girl is at? Cause we need to, we need to link, we need to vibe. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about just like a couple of things that I've been thinking about. Like, I wish I would have known in my 20s now that I'm in my 30s, like things I wish I would have known. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, then definitely stay tuned and let's just get right into it. Cartier, Cartier necklace, Cartier brain, Cartier diamonds, Cartier with friends. Get anything you want, long as stay. Oh, yeah, do for you, I remain even when you're playing games. So first things first, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I have to put my contacts in. This is gonna be like a little get ready with me um, to go out with my friend for lunch. And I just wanted to kind of talk about a few things that I feel like I wanted to discuss on my channel. I didn't know I am 30 now, yeah. Um, but hold on, let me put my contacts in first because girl, I can't see a thing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready. And like I said, I'm gonna talk to you guys about a couple of things, a couple of topics that <laughs> that I wish I would have known um, while being in my 20s. First thing is, um, we are gonna do our hair because she looks wild. I went to the gym this morning, so I just have to touch up my little side slick down and <laughs> the rest of my curls because I do want them to pop a little bit. So none of these things that I'm like sharing with y'all about what I wish I knew is like a regret is just something I wish I would have known. But what I wish I would have known is basically or wish I would have done in my 20s is basically just invest in myself a little bit more. I feel like I was so just keen on like going to school which I kind of feel like is an investment but I really wasn't as like you know invested in myself I really didn't do everything that I could have I feel like investing in yourself to me is it's kind of just figuring out like what it is that I like to do and just focusing on that so if I like to do content if I like to I don't know read books or da -da -da, just investing in myself more and not focusing so much on like the outside world obviously at 20 years old you really don't know like who you are you're still figuring yourself out you're still you know doing certain things but i do feel like there are people and i'm gonna go in with the as i am just a little bit to give my hair a little bit moisture the as i am um leave-in conditioner i'm gonna just put that on my ends because my ends is dry but like what i wish i would have known in my 20s for sure or wish i would have done in my 20s is basically just invest in myself and things that i wanted to do <laughs> i know i look crazy but please bear with your girl like we almost done next thing about what i wish i knew in my 20s was that self love self-care is like so freaking important like taking care of your mental health people around me like talk about mental health it hasn't been like it's such an important factor in your every day to day like you know what I mean like I feel like people went from talking about you know not talking about it at all to like mentioning just more so the negative aspect of mental health which is like suicide depression things like that like that obviously people talked about but it wasn't as like pivotal to your life like you have to take care of your mental health you know what i mean so i feel like i wish i would have known how important it is to take care of your mental health i'm telling y'all like get the uh, life be life in so if your mental health isn't in the proper state like life will literally try to take you out y'all don't even know the silent battles i've had to face which we probably all do like obviously we all go through our own shit um our own stuff or whatever but i feel like if you yourself don't focus on your mental health focusing on you know just being a better person um you know what i mean then i feel like life will definitely life will try you for real for real so i really wish i would have known in my 20s that you know just basically taking care of your mental health would be so pivotal now being in my 30s because like i said life be life and it just it takes you on a roller coaster and if you ain't ready for it then it's gonna be it's going it's going life regardless like 
ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, it's gonna do its thing with or without you. Like, <laughs> so you gotta be ready, you gotta be prepared. You know, at the end of the day, you have to take care of you. You have to take care of your mental, not just the outside physical part, because obviously, you know, we're always gonna be consistently working on that, you know, just if you work out, if you into fashion, if you into beauty, like yeah, all the outside stuff is cute, but if up here ain't right, none of that matters. You literally have to take care of you, because how are you gonna be great if you don't take care of yourself? Like, it's just not gonna happen. Taking care of you, loving yourself, and whatever that might look like, just continue to do that, because I'm telling you, it's gonna get you places for real. So finally finished our hair and now we're gonna go ahead and get to the makeup. I'm not trying to really do um, man makeup on my face cause it's like 90 degrees outside. Um, and I'm going in with my milk primer. Um, it's hot outside. Natural makeup, I guess. No makeup makeup look. So I'm basically gonna be doing like more so like some concealer, a little bit of bronzer. Anyway, so Another thing that I feel like um, I wish I would have known in my 20s is that not everybody is gonna support you. Like, you gonna have people that you love and care about, family, friends, but just to let you know, like, they are not gonna support you when you want them to. I'm not saying this for everybody. I'm not saying that nobody's gonna support you, but I do feel like when it comes to certain family members or friends, like don't expect them to support you when you want to. It's not a bad thing, like we all got things going on in our life. Um, I feel like we all have like things that we wanna accomplish, you know, like, like I said, silent battles that people be facing that you never know about, that maybe they can't support you in that season of, you know, your life where you need the support. But I'm telling you now, do you. And whoever supports you, supports you. Don't think like, oh, your friends have to support you. Um, your family has to support you because nobody has to do nothing but pay taxes and die. So much anymore on like, you know, just having that support from people that you, you know, love and care about, which I understand because obviously like, if you're doing something in your life, like you want your family's support, like, duh. You know what I mean? Like, you want them to, you, you want to feel that like, your family knows that you know you're doing this or whatever whatever but like i said like they're not always gonna support you in the way that you want let me say that sometimes just a family will support you but it's just not the way that you want to be supported so you take it as oh they're not supporting me da, 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 da. and it's like it's not even that it's more so maybe they're supporting you by just watching your videos or maybe they're supporting you in the smaller ways that maybe you're just like kind of overlooking and i'm speaking for myself too because i have seen where you know people have supported me in ways and i definitely took it um it for granted i guess in the way they supported me because i didn't feel like it was the support that i wanted necessarily usually your family will support you when you least expect it you know what i'm saying and then that's when it all becomes full circle like i'm telling you right now like being in my 20s i was so focused on oh i want some parts of this person to support me i want them to support me support me support me and then it took me off track of actually what i was doing like my content could have been way better I feel like or I could have been way ahead of like where my plans and everything like that in my content if I would have just focused on what I was doing and not so much on the support so I noticed that like especially in my 20s that I was so focused on oh I want this person to to like me or I want this person to like my stuff and I want my friends to be my number one support system and if you first start something that's what you think like 
oh this person is gonna you know support me in every aspect of this journey that i'm about to take but that is not true like that is so far from the truth and i wish people would start talking about that more that support is not always going to look like what you want it to like it's just not so i think that we have to start talking about just supporting ourselves and then people will fall in line and it's not to say that people don't want to support you but people rather see so, so people rather support you when they see that you're actually doing taking action in the thing that you said you could do okay cute now that we got our makeup done America. now that we got our makeup done um I went ahead and put on some lashes, just finished everything up. The only thing is, I'll be having issues with these laugh lines. Like, the laugh lines be ruining it, but she's still cute. I gotta put on some lip. But now, we can go, my eye contacts are just a tad dry. So yeah, so the next thing on my list of what I wish I knew in my 20s is that, basically like your friends and the things that you guys like, have in common will change over time like people are going to change over time like we are just people of evolution things of evolution which i hope like some people change some people don't but people let me not say that everybody changes over time so i feel like the friends that you have when you're younger isn't always going to be the friends that you have when you're older and that's okay because people go their separate ways people do their own thing um people's interests change people's tastes change like things change it's meeting different people like it's okay to have different types of friends like you don't have to have the same type of friends just because you know those are the people you grew up with yeah those are the people you grew up with but they're not on the same you know um type of timing that you on and that's okay because everybody has their own life everybody has grown everybody's entitled to their own opinions and doing the things that they want to do when they want to do it so i feel like as you get older like you're gonna have different friends you're gonna surround yourself with different people move somewhere different like i did like i ended up moving to texas and i ended up making some friends out here it's okay to have new friends and it was for a long time like everybody used to be talking about like oh um no new friends no new friends and it's like yeah maybe not like so much as like holding your friends to this super high standard like or people that you meet to like this high standard of oh this is my best friend this is this this is that you know what i mean like i feel like we need to kind of come to terms with like i said like the people that you meet in your life don't always have to be your bestest or closest friends you might meet could be somebody that person to help you get to the next level in your life it's all about connecting it's all about networking so which, what i wish i would have known in my 20s was that i need to network more and i needed to not put such a stress on my friends of having this group of friendships that like i literally kind of like took the focus away from me so back to what i was saying earlier like you have to focus on yourself but at the same time don't put so much focus on friends and hanging out and doing this and doing that because when i did that i realized like i just wasn't as focused on my craft i wasn't as focused on my career like i really feel like my 20s i was just turning up <laughs> i was like hanging out all the time i was turning up i was living my best life and now i'm in my 30s and i'm like damn like you know, I let so much time pass me by without focusing on me and the things that I wanted to do. And this is my own, you know, testimony to y'all. This is not really something that I feel like people made me do. Like I said, I already said that, like, things happen for a reason. Yes, we go through certain things for a reason. Yes, but I do feel like if I would have focused just a little bit more, I definitely would be at a higher um place in my life than where i'm at now i'm gonna put that out there um the next thing i want to do is honestly get dressed because <laughs> i've been talking to y'all in this towel and doing my hair and makeup and now it's time to get dressed so i'm gonna go find something to wear i really don't know what i want to wear yet i'm still deciding because like the sun is in and out and i'm not sure like what the weather gonna be or where i'm going i'm supposed to be going out i was supposed to go to lunch but that didn't that ended up getting canceled so i'm probably gonna go um maybe like out to dinner or try to hit a barbecue it is fourth of july so i hope you guys enjoyed y'all fourth um and be safe of course let me go find an outfit to put on and then we will talk about the last and final thing of what i wish i do in my 20s all right so we finally figured out like a little cute something to wear so i got this like um 
what do you call this like halter top kind of thing and then corset kind of top and then i have my like khaki pants i had to go ahead and like revamp them real quick because i did not like the way they look at the bottom they were kind of like the scrunch and i was like what so i went ahead and cut them y'all see the full outfit once i put it on so let's put these outfits on so we can finally get out this towel and get done with this video because we only got one more thing i want to let you guys know what i wish i knew in my 20s so i'm gonna go ahead and put this outfit on we're gonna see how it comes out together and then i want to pair it with my felines i bought these like probably like three years ago i love them still they are mad cute this is just like a statement shoe i feel like and i feel like the creams will kind of balance you know what i mean the shoe and then the cargoes giving it like cute girl but we still a tomboy at the end of the day because <laughs> i really am So this is how the outfit is looking. I think it's so cute. I just wish I had an iron. I have an iron and then I have my sneakers on. If you can see, oh. I think she looks so cute. I'll probably do like a full, like what I look like. Go ahead and put on some um, body gel, body oil. And then I'm gonna mix it with the F Savage Fenty. I still have this, this stuff. You guys never seen it before. But getting into my last tip, and this is just so I can have like a little bit of shine, um, you know, while I have this top on, cause you know, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, she's glowing. And if you guys see like the the lighting change, it's because I'm literally sitting right in, outside of my window, right in front of my window, just to get some natural sunlighting. And I'm talking fast because my camera is about to die. So one thing I wanted to let you guys know, like for my last, like what I wish I knew in my 20s was basically I wish I knew that you need to have a lot more patience with life. You need to have a lot more grace with life and being grateful. Like I feel like I was never like super grateful for what I already had kind of working on that trying to just be as grateful as possible for when it comes to the things that I have, the people in my life and such like that. We are just so caught up in wanting so many things and wanting to do so many things that we don't really just sit and take in the moments that we have and i feel like especially in this society today where everything's on go it's like we always want everything like right right now and i feel like we have to learn patience like um even after my 20s but i really realized how important having patience and especially with people like nobody nobody cares nobody nobody's worried about you like just have patience with yourself and everything that you want in your life like if you want to do something do it basically just really have patience like you can't just sit and think like oh today i'm gonna do something for two days and then tomorrow it's gonna be like the best thing ever it's like no you literally have to be diligent in what you're doing you have to study your craft and take it one day at a time like be willing to go on a journey be willing to go on you know this roller coaster ride of everything that you're about to go through if you're really passionate about this one thing i also wish i would have found my passion a lot sooner or just quieted my outside world and things around me to really find what i what i'm passionate about because i'm still trying to figure out like a little bit of that but i do think i'm coming into like certain passions of mine but i feel like i just really wish i would have took taken the time for myself to just really figure out like what my passions are that way like those passions could have turned into a career or whatever it might be because like i said like nothing nothing happens overnight i know we live in a microwavable society now where everybody think oh you're supposed to have something at the click of your fingers but that's not how like real life is so you have to be patient like you really do because if you're not then you're gonna be jumping from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing and you're not gonna have anything you know really to hold on to it's like have that thing hold on to it work at it and if it doesn't work and if you really feel like you put your 100 percent, then i feel like going to the next thing and hey 
Okay, lighting in the corner. Ooh, okay, so I really don't have that much time with my camera left. As always, you guys know, storage be eating it up. But I just wanted to let you guys know that those are basically the things I wanted to talk about as far as what I wish I knew in my 20s. Um, Now that I am the big three, oh, about to be the big three too. And I wanna know, first of all, where my 30 year old girlies at? Cause we need to, we need to link, we need to vibe. And I feel like, where are my 30 year olds? Like. Where y'all at? Where is everybody? I feel like, you know, a lot of content creators I even run into are like younger, you know what I mean? And it's not a bad thing, but I just feel like we're not 30 year olds. We not giving 30, period. Anyway, yeah, that's just a couple of things I just wanted to keep you guys um, in tune about and let you guys know like what, where my thoughts were about, you know, this topic of what I would wish I knew, um, in my 20s a lot of those things like i said like i'm i don't regret anything i did in my life but i wish i knew that before 20s so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching as always and i'll see you guys back in my next video my next video probably gonna go up on sunday as always i always do thursdays and sundays but i'm not really sure like what i want to post yet i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really appreciate you guys for tuning in today and like i said if you have any comments questions or anything like that leave it down below and i will hit you guys up later because i gotta go so bye